Hello everyone. My name is Philip Akandusa. I'm with Makers Place as a STEM facilitator. Today in this video, we are going to see how we can apply artificial intelligence in game control. So we have this game space battle. So first, let's see how the game works. Then we can apply the artificial intelligence there to control the character. So as you can see on my stage, the three main characters are the rocket, that of the monster, and the bullet. So we need to add these appropriate sprites. So we go to our sprite library and we can add them. Then after adding them, we choose appropriate backdrop. So I use a space backdrop. Okay, let's get into the script and see how it works. So with our main character, the rocket ship, we have when the green flag clicks, we have set size to 40. So it shrinks or reduce the size of the rocket. And then they go to zero minus 140, limits zero for the X axis, minus 140, limits the movement of the strike or the rocket to the bottom of the stage because we don't want it to be moving all around the stage like that. Okay, good. Now inside the forever loop, we have the if right key press, if left key press, that is for the controls moving it left and right. Where did we get those ones? So we got them from the sensors. So where you have the key press, this block, then drop it down, then we can choose the left and right. You can choose any letters to as well, the one you prefer. Good. And the reason why we chose moving to the right, we are moving the positive x direction. So that's why we change the x by 10. But moving to the left, we use negative. That's why uh, we are in the negative direction. So we use negative 10. And then when the space bar, I want to shoot the bullet using the space bar. So that's what it is. So one multiple bullet. Alternatively, you could add multiple bullets strike at a strike, but that would be tedious. You have to write script for each bullet and that would be tedious. So the easiest way to go is to create a clone of the bullet. And we got that from the variable, sorry, control block block palette, you scroll down, you have create clone of, if you choose myself, that would be for the rocket, the one we are writing for, but here we are creating the clone of the bullet. So you choose that one, then you snap it inside. And we have the weight 0.1 seconds. So let me join it and run it and let's see what happens. So we have our space. There we go, right? It's moving and it's shooting the bullet. However, we need to, let's see what happens with the bullet script. So you realize that when we started the pressing the green flag, the bullet was moving along with the space. So wherever the rocket moves, the bullet also moves. So to do that, specify the location for the bullet, we use the go to block. However, this one is can't go any random position. We need to follow the rocket. And to follow it, we rather go to the senses. Then we choose to use this block. So we change the stage to rocket ship, then X position of the rocket ship. So when the rocket ship moves to X position, the bullet also follows that one. And change the stage to rocket ship as well, then now change this one to Y position. And then we have it this way. Then we can plot it that one in, good. However, you can see by it, I have one green flag click hide. So this hides the 